In 2019, Google was fined £50 million by French startup production authorities for not being transparent about data collection and personalization. In 2020, British Airlines also fined €20 million Euro for data breach affecting over 400k customers, partly due to failure in protecting personal data effectively. Fines are not only for large companies. Smaller companies have faced fines of thousands of euros due to cookie not compliance. But cookie compliance is not about avoiding fines. It's also about building trust with your user being transparent about the data. If you're running ads via Google Ads or Microsoft Ads, there is also a requirement to set up consent mode, which helps single user consent from a tool like CookieBot to this ad platform. Without this setup, you cannot access features like conversion tracking, analytics optimization, which could limit your advertising effectiveness. That's why CookieBot come in. CookieBot Content Management Platform or CMP is a simple plug and play solution that make it easy to manage user content. And today's video will briefly see how we can set up a content mode on our WordPress website. My plan is pretty simple. First, I will tell you what is CookieBot and how it work. Then I will show you how to set up it. And finally, we'll look some comparisons. First, let's talk about what is CookieBot CMP and how it's work. CookieBot CMP is a content management platform that help website compile with privacy regulation like GDPR, CCPA, and more. CookieBot enables website owner to manage user content for cookies and trackers ensuring full compliance with data protection law while providing transparency and control for users. And it's something like this, as you can see, where I can easily give our consent. After set up CookieBot in a website, they automatically scan your website for cookies and tracker, such as Google Analytics, Facebook Pixel, etc. to identify and list all the cookies being used on your site. And also, they collect user consent and also they are stored in CookiesBot U-based server to compile with privacy regulations. And it's block cookies until consent is given. Until the user consent, CookieBot will block cookies from being set like Google Analytics or advertising cookies until the visitor either accept or customize their choice. CookieBot integrates seamlessly with Google consent mode to continue tracking conversion and analytics for Google Ads and analytics after user provide consent. And if the user wants, they can update or withdraw their consent at any time via simple consent management widget on your website. And it's compiled with GDPR, CCPA, and more. CookieBot helps site compile with privacy law like GDPR, uh, CCPA, or LGPD, or more. Now, if I tell you a summary of this, then if we just allow all, then definitely based on the movement of the user, we can retarget them, we can share with them, or we can show them a specific product via ads. But if they make a deny, then we cannot do it. Because based on this consent, um, Google Analytics or let's say advertising cookies can have work. Now, let's see how we can set up it on a website. So first we need to log in a WordPress website and then we need to click on here plugins and I need to click on here add new this button and now in here we need to search CookieBot. After searching you will get like this type of plugin and this plugin is coming from user centrex so we just need to click on here this install now button and then we need to click on here this activate option and after activating on the left sidebar you will get the option called CookieBot. Just click on there. And in here, you will get like this type of option. And if you already have an account, then you can just connect it. Or if you want to create a new account, then just click on here, new account, this button. And they're going to redirect you on this page. Or if you check my video description, then I already provide you on a link. Just click on this link and you will be redirected on CookieBot website. And if you're just going to click on here with this start now button, or if you're just going to click on start for free, then you will be redirected on the same page like here. And now in here, you just need to input your email address. You can simply just type your email address. Or if you wanna go with Google, then click on here, continue with Google. And after this, as you can see, they're gonna redirect on this link here, admin.cookiebot.com slash onboarding, like this, this link, they will be redirecting you. And in here, we just need to give a little information. So this is for myself, 
and these all are optional so if you want then you can definitely ignore them but let me fill up them all so first of all we need to add here our website link so I'm gonna type here my website link here and then scroll down then you need to select a template so it's totally based on your audience so let's say if you have an audience or if you're doing business on Europe then simply select here GDP -er. if you're doing business on Brazil then select this one and if you something else then definitely just select from there so mostly in my case I'm gonna selecting here GDPR and then click on here the top call next and then you will get like this type of option here we can set up the layout so it's have a two to have a banner one have a dialogue this one as you can see and another one have a bar like this so just simply select which one do you like but I in my case I like this one the next have a style effect so if you're just going to hover on this what I can uh, then you're gonna get to see about what is this so it's have a position if I make a top bar okay so I think bottom is good and then if you go to the next it's have a design option here you can simply select the theme if I like dark color then definitely you can get a dark it's have a custom color you can literally change the color you can change the background color text color highlight color whatever you want you can do it best on your brand color you can do this thing um, but if you think okay you just make a mistake then you can simply do this reset all banner this button then all will be reset and if you scroll down then I'll get a button color this is button one like accept all this one this is button two this customization so and this is the next is necessary all so this is all about the button so you can definitely change do the changes also if you want to add your logo in there then you can do it so right now if you're just gonna close it as you can see there is no logo right now there but if you want to do it then you can do it send so there or if you have any custom things just upload there now let's move with the next is like compliance so if you go to the compliance then you will get option like explete consent and impiled impiled consent okay so I personally think that explete content is good uh, if you're just gonna hover in there then you're gonna see with explete consent the cookies banner will keep showing on each page until visitor has provided a consent choice okay so that means this is a good thing every single page is gonna get to see and until they are giving their consent so this is good so let's keep with explete and if you wanna don't want it then you can choose this one and this is like type what do you want accept only you can see this literally this preview there if you like to go with accept or deny and this is have a multi-level so all of this thing there so I'm gonna choose with multi-level this one and this have a button allow all then okay as you can see whenever I'm changing it I get to see the preview there so I can easily make a decision this is correct or not and the next option like show additional setting for now all of these as you can see this is need to be select but if you want to make them already selected you can easily um, just enable all of this as you can see now is all enable and if you don't want to enable them just disable this all so okay and next is like distribution so if you're just gonna click on there then you can literally select the specific region where you like to show this <laughs> like this banner for example if you're doing business on Europe then I think if you just only select this Europe that's gonna better if you have don't have visitors from a different country or if you're not selling this product in different country then I don't think that you need to select all visitors but if you are doing business in multiple country then I think it's better if you go with all visitors that's kind of better because based on your uh, visitors country it's gonna show them a different different uh, you know like consent mode I think so that's why I think all visitors will be better but if you're doing in a specific country business like Europe or USA then I think it's better if you go with their um, if you select the country that's kind of more better rather than select uh, all visitors but uh, if you feel that is hassle just go with all visitors okay now let's go to this next is have a content and in the content as you can see it's right now English but if you wanna add some a different language then definitely you can do it also if you wanna detect them auto language then you can definitely select them automatic language then based on their language it's automatically show this content and also you can literally change this like banner content here like dialogs box heading and body takes all of these things you can literally change here as you can see all of this content you can literally change it and the next option have called privacy option and this is mostly important things let's say for now many people um, they let's say deny right they deny it but in a letter they think okay I need to give this consent 
for you know like discount for offer so they change their mind so in letter if we just enable this privacy privacy button they can easily go there just click on the button here on the left side bar and they can change their consent if they want it again or if they want to do the little bit changes in later they can easily do that okay so here is it mainly about this privacy trigger so on this privacy button it's have a color let's say it's have a white color it's have a black color it's also have some more different color if you want to go within a specific color definitely you can simply select here this thing you can literally just change this thing um, how you want and if you want to do the hexacode then just simply click on here this button then you will get this option you can simply just paste here this um, paste here this code uh, that color that you like to go with and here's a button option where you like to show that's a button right or button left where I like to show you can just simply do this and you can also change this light like let's say theme color light dark all of this thing and this is all about the declaration here as you can see template and if you want to make it with the custom template then you can do it but I don't think that we need to do it let's go with this default one and now let's click on here this next option all right so as you can see we get a like this type of option here and here we can simply copy our copy like this group code from here or what you can do we can click on here this finish option just click on the finish and after this finish option uh, you need to go here this implementation here this button and just scroll down then you will get a domain group ID just copy it go back to your WordPress website go here the setting and this button and now we just need to add here our domain group ID that we recently copy from our implementation option as you can see just copy and simply paste it and just click on here this save changes button and as you can see now it's set up done and if you go with this desperate button then as you can see it's showing congratulation it's set up now let's go to the next it's like additional setting so in here we just need to enable this uh, disable cookie bot CMP in WordPress admin area so if you just enable it then they're not gonna be showing the banner like the pop-up in admin area uh, because we d don't really need it right because we are admin and the next is like Google Tag Manager if you already have Google Tag Manager or if you want to set up Google Tag Manager then uh, you just need to enable this option if you want to connect it with the website and then you need to add here your tag manager ID and if you don't know how to find out it then just click on here this button then you will get an uh, article here how to find out it it's also have a video or you can check my video description I already have a video there if you watch it then you will understand like how to do it and it's also have a data layer you can just watch the tutorial then you will understand all about this and the next have a Google consent mode that's already enabled yeah that's it Melly. So just click on here this save changes button. Now let's do a comparison with cookie notification banner and cookie consent banner. So it's totally clear. If you use normal cookie notification banner, then you may not compile with GDPR or CCPA or Google consent mode version two. And you may not able to use Google ads to promote your business. You could be exposed to legal fines. Um, you could be endorsing trust with your audience by not respecting their privacy choice and in the other hand if you're using cookie consent banner then it's easy to compile with GDPR or CCPR or with Google consent mode version 2 they have an option you can easily do the setup and it's definitely building better trust with your audience so that's it all about this video. If you like this video, just click on this like button. And if you're new on my channel, do subscribe. Also check my video description if you like to see more about how to set up Google Tags or um, like consent mode version two. If you wanna see more details about this, check my video description. I already provided a few more links and videos.